Hey everybody. Hey, are you interested in learning more about the Hicktop Dual 3 or the TL-DL3? Uh, it's an IDEX printer, uh, dual X carriages, dual extruders. Um, well, I'm going to talk a little bit about those today and in future videos as well. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Howie 50 Today I just want to do a short video. I haven't made a video for a while. That's uh, because of some personal problems and uh, some other projects I have going on uh, that I've been really trying to focus on uh, to get out to uh, several of you that are interested. Specifically, I've been working on two uh, Hicktop Dual 3 uh, IDEX printers. You see the one over here printing. It's printing with a single head right now with something I'm working on. But I'm really impressed with these uh, with these printers. They're IDEX, uh, which you know allows dual color in in in, a, in separate X carriages, which has many many uses. Uh, these printers are capable of copy mode, duplicate mode, and mirror mode, which uh, would enable both print heads to to print the same object at the, at the same time, uh, increasing productivity times as well as well as printing multiple colors. I don't have any really good examples. Uh, here's one I started with that needs some work. Just tuning in the profiles that takes a lot of work. Um, getting a good one going. There are some good ones out there that I've been working with as a starting point. Main problem with this printer right now is the firmware. It's Marlin firmware, but it's um, it's on a board that uh, I can't recognize, and the firmware has not been released yet. Uh, from what I can tell, or what I've read through an M119, is the the, uh, the firmware is Marlin 1.0.0. And without the without the firmware being released, it's really difficult to get a decent pen out on the board itself. Through a bunch of research and talking with uh, several other interested folks and some questions with uh, Scott Latin, uh, Marlin, uh, one of the Marlin developers, uh, the master. I, everything uh, that these printers can do. Uh, the latest versions of Marlin uh, 1.1.9 and uh, as well as 2.0.x, whatever it is, will also support all these additional modes that these printers are capable of. Uh, I'm really excited to get these moving, but like I said, I want to update that firmware because they don't have uh, thermal runaway protection as a lot of these uh, overseas uh, Chinese manufacturers for whatever reason, they turn off the thermal, way, thermal runaway protection, probably so that they can show higher temperatures on the hot ends, uh, et cetera. But um, that's really important to me to get that running. This one over here is using the 1.0.0 stock firmware, and I'm using this one as a guinea pig right now. I've uh, flashed several different versions of firmware, as well as uh, recoding um, some of it, the pinouts and boards. Uh, to see what I can come up with uh, to get a working version. I've been able to get X Carriage 1, Extruder 1, and Extruder 2, as well as Y and Z working on this. X, uh, X Carriage 2, having a difficult time finding the pen out. Like I said, the board, it's just not marked. It's a generic board of some kind. I've had word that maybe it's a 10 low board printer is really likely to also be sold under a different name as the uh, TLD3, which is where the Tenlo name came from. I'm hoping to make some progress on this, and I'd like to show you guys uh, what, uh, what enhancements uh, I end up doing with these, as well as what we can achieve with, uh, with the IDEX printers. There's not a whole lot out there right now on, on IDEX, and uh, 
I plan to get that rolling. So look for uh, some videos coming up soon um, on my progress with these. Um, if you notice um, here on uh, this one, we've only got a 2004 display on it. I mean, I've already got uh, some 12864 displays coming, so I will. Uh, I plan to do an upgrade uh, to those uh, to those displays, and uh, I think that'll be great. But uh, kind of need the firmware to change those, so I'll let you guys know where uh, what my progress is and uh, where we go. Like I said. Uh, Here's, uh, here's a print I made. It turned out really well. I think just dialing in some more settings uh, will, will make this uh, an even better print. But um, this is really nice. You know, this the, the build volume on this thing is 300 by 300 by 400. You know, like a CR10. So I think it's capable of, of quite a lot. Um, I've uh, achieved a hotbed temperature of uh, 110 so far uh, without any problem. It takes a little time, but it is a 24 volt uh, hotbed, heated bed, so um, that does speed it up a little bit. You're looking at probably uh, about a 15 minute warm up time for uh, for this bed, the way it sits. Um, and the hot ends, uh, you know, they're I've had them up to over 250 with no problem. So I think most materials you're looking to print print pretty well. This particular one, or these I have, are both Bowden systems. The newer ones they're releasing are direct drive. They also have dual Z limit switches, uh, which would be nice. I'm upgrading this one over here to the dual uh, Z limit. Anyway, oh, and this is not sponsored in any way by uh, anyone. Uh, I bought these with my own money. Uh, I just think, uh, there are several of uh, several of you out there that are interested in uh, some of the progress uh, that could be made with these printers. All right, uh, I look forward to uh, to seeing uh, some of you guys here at Murph next week, and um, I'll have some uh, some of my Maker coins, which I'm printing over here on another printer, and um, uh, some stickers uh, available as well. May give away one of my shirts here. Uh, I'll re 3D print everything. We'll try to uh, try to have a couple of those T-shirts, uh, maker coins, and stickers available for you folks. And I can't wait to meet uh, some of the big shots that are going to be there. Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing or look forward to uh, seeing some more of this content, hit the uh, like button and hit that bell for notifications. Um, I'll try to be a little more consistent uh, on my video releases. I, I just, like I said, I've, I've had some um, some issues uh, I've been dealing with, but uh, I'll hopefully not let those affect my videos coming, on, uh, coming up. All right, guys, as always, let's 3D print everything.